Hi, it's Dave Diegelman with Equity Real Estate. For our numbers, it's our market summary for December of 2023. We look at the closeout numbers in Southern Utah for from November. And let's dig into this and take a look. First thing I want to do is look at the sold listings throughout the year. Uh, right now, month by month, we had 309 as the close of November. Last year in December, we had 296. If we look at the active listings right now, we have 1558. Last year, we had 1610. So a little bit of change there on inventory, not much, not significantly, and our sold listings are pretty much flatlined. We're very stable with that. So listing prices, this is not for a like unit home. This is just what our average median uh, price is coming in at. And um, <clears throat> so right now we're at 515 thousand and some change and last year we were at 489,000 and some change so very stable let's look at the active listings and the price that are coming on the market you can see it kind of goes all over the place but right now we're at 599,000 600,000 let's call it and last year we were at 575,000 so again it's just what market category are is inventory coming in at it's not necessarily that this house last year is worth this much this year uh, absorption rate, this is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite tools for looking at stuff. And this is how many units are selling each month versus how many months worth of inventory do we have. So right now we're at 4.13 months. Last year we were at 3.87 months, so not too far different. In the height of the frenzy about a year and a half ago, we were at less than one month's worth of inventory, and that was scary. That's where buyers, every time they were putting in an offer, they were competing with 10 to 15 other offers. So this is a much healthier marketplace all the way around for people. Um, sold to list ratio. This is a price the price of a house that gets sold versus what its list price was. So right now we're at 90 just under 95%, and last year we were at uh, just a, around 94%. So <clears throat> that means there's some negotiations going on and it's a little bit easier for buyers, but it's still not that far off the mark. And it means that um, agents as they're you know, guiding their clients to put their properties on the market, they're actually putting their properties within a stone's throw of what the comps are. And that's important because if we, for example, went into a declining market, you don't wanna be chasing the market down. On the other hand, if we're going into an appreciating market, if something changes, if interest rates went down to 3%, we would probably go into an appreciating market and you would want to price it accordingly for the market days and such like that. So pricing is not necessarily a, a lineal equation. It does have some sponge and spring to it. Um, days on the market. Right now, we're at about 68 days on the market. Last year, at the close of December, we were at about 61 days on the market. So marketing times have been a little bit longer this year. You can see even in the peak of the um, season, we we're at 75 days. So I think that's to be expected. I think it's going to happen for quarter one and quarter two of next year. Um, I think we're going to stay fairly stable on that. Price volume, this is the one that really surprises me and, and most people that I talk to about volume because in the news you hear about how bad everything is, uh, new start builds are down and all that. And in our report, which you can click to under the description on this, you can go right into the link. Uh, we talk more about this and we have more of the figures and the news articles about this, but the reality is we're in a very healthy marketplace and we're really um, pretty much running the same volume we did last year. At this time so right now for the month of November we closed out at 188 million almost 189 million dollars worth of inventory and in December close out of last year we we're at 173 million so we're actually up a little bit but December typically does go down just a hair um, we talked about absorption rate 4.13 uh, the median sale price is at about 515. Last year it was at 502. Again, it doesn't mean that prices have necessarily gone up, although they have in some categories and in some instances. Um, from our peak of our market, maybe a year and a half ago, we were we we fell about we slid probably eight to twelve percent. It depends on what category of market you're in, and then slowly stuff has been creeping back up. But um, in my eyes, we're just kind of 
um, very stable. So this next coming year, we'll see what happens, but probably a four to six percent appreciation if everything kind of goes as we are in right now. Let's look at the sold listings in the price categories that they're in. So again, this month, the highest category of sold listings is in the $500 to $750,000 mark range, I should say. And second from that, we're going to go to the 300 to 400, or 350 to 400,000. Um, we don't have a lot of inventory in that range, and <clears throat> most of the inventory in this range you're going to find are condos and, and such. Um, so single family homes kind of start in the 400s uh, around here. That's our third category is four to 449. Fourth is going to be 750 to a million. And then fifth is a million to two million. So <clears throat> I've mentioned this before, but the one to two million dollar range, you can find some bargains there uh, when you compare it to what it would cost to replicate a lot of those homes. And so this is one of those times where investors who are coming in uh, like to buy inventory either in this range or in this range and maybe do a little sprucing up of it. Maybe it's a total remodel, but hold on to it until the market comes back because when it does come back, um, these numbers usually increase and the number of, you know, the, the sale price of that home increases as well. But that happens in all the different categories. There's people that flip all over. Most people who are looking to flip properties are in these two categories right here. They're looking to pick up inventory here. And the challenge that I've seen over the years is that I've often seen people buy houses for way more than um, what they were really worth because they want to flip it. And they made most of their profit because it took them a year to flip it, to do the remodel or whatever they're doing. Um, there's much, in my eyes, there's much smarter ways of flipping houses. And I will give you a hint, it's in the higher categories over here. Um, so you can call me if you have any questions on that. I'll give you my phone number towards the end here. Um, so let's look at the active listings. Again, these categories are going to reflect the sold listings, really. Um, the highest uh, amount of inventory we have is 500 to 750,000. And then it's going to go to the 750 to a million. So there's a lot more inventory in that range. And then surprising to me is the 350 to 399. And again, that's reflecting condos and also double wides and uh, other more affordable housing things that are out there. Um, and then behind that, we have 750 to a million, a uh, million to two million goes right behind that. And um, we have strength in our marketplace right now, but we also have a lot to choose from in those categories. So let's look at interest rates real quick. Um, you know, interest rates do affect us here in southern Utah, but not as much as other parts of the country. And a week ago, interest rates were going into the eight, eight and a quarter, eight and a half percent. And it was looking like a disaster. But then, you know, things settled down and now we're in the you know mid sevens and sometimes high sixes this week so this was just from yesterday november 30th and um, there's links to all this in the report so again the report link itself is uh, in the notes down below the video but interest rates um you know here's the thing again you want you want to date the rate and, and marry the house um, let's say the rate's a little bit high right here a lot of times we can find sellers that they can contribute to closing costs and buy down that rate a bit. Um, but you don't want to be paying someone else's mortgage and you don't want to be waiting for the market to just be completely bombarded with buyers and where you're competing on every offer. So, you know, look into things like carrying the rate for a while and then refinancing down the road when rates go down. And I, I do think that they will go down for sure within the next three to five years. I don't think we'll ever see that three to five percent again. But um, that's going to wrap up our market report for December of 2023. It's been a wild ride of a year. Um, I look forward to seeing this year close out and see 2024 coming in. I want to bless you and your families for the closeout of 2023. I also want to bless you for the 2024 season. If I can help you out in any way, feel free to give me a call. My direct private line is 435-703-4041.